my youtube channel how i'm happy to see you once again okay so first of all if you are a new viewer or if you are a new subscriber kindly i'm giving you three seconds to subscribe one two three subscribe continue growing this family road to 2k subscribers share with the loved ones share with the friends share with your family yeah let them join this big family of ours as i always say this is the place to be so guys today we're going to be talking about some of the weird things that actually happen here in germany okay so one thing since we are heading to christmas eve i will start with the fact that they open their presents on the 24th okay 24th that is when they usually open their presents compared to back at home in kenya on the 25th that is when we usually cook we usually go 24th we go to the church we go to the church to church we go to church <laughs> english is not my tongue okay we go to church on the 24th at night and then after that on the 25th this is the day that the family comes together we cook or we wear our new clothes if we have presents from our parents or our brothers and sisters this is when we have time to show them off okay so we make sure we wear them we go out to show off to the other kids to everyone else that you have new stuff okay this is when we get to eat that meal we are not able to afford during the other days okay this is when we get to cook chapati we get to cook chicken you guys you know me uh, that you know me you know what we do when we are in kenya okay i don't know if time to time people change time to time traditions change okay so some do differently nowadays some want to buy christmas trees and decorate them yeah people are starting to adapt what uh, the europeans do but such is life okay so that's for me i find that weird that you get to open presents on the 24th not on the 25th okay so another weird thing is the fact that when you walk into a bar or um, a restaurant where they sell beer and you also want to drink some water let me tell you you'll be surprised with the fact that the price of beer and the price of water drinking water is quite similar that will shock you i would expect that maybe i will get water at a cheaper price compared to beer well that's not the case in most restaurants that i have been to okay yeah so that is number another two. one that until now i cannot practice that okay i'm yet <laughs> to even try and practice that but something shocked me can you imagine you and your spouse you find that in your bed in is in your bedroom you get to have two separate blankets or duvets whatever you're using but they're usually two for each one for the man and for the woman hey let me tell you i want my man close to me so why should we have even two separate blankets but some say it helps to um, prevent divorces in marriage <laughs> because there are some people who even if they are married there is that point of privacy that they still need but uh, yeah, I'm trying to understand that but it's not clicking yeah I want to share my blanket with my hubby I want him close <laughs> if you understand what I mean do you think that is a bit weird having two separate blankets I find it weird do you find it weird don't forget to comment down in the comment section as I always say this is the place that you get to interact okay so another point that was point number point four. number four something else that I find very very weird in Germany is the fact that you go to the supermarket you buy your goods first of all there's this point of um, should I call them pointers or blocks of, I don't know, plastic stuff that you have to separate. 
your goods okay so that the other person behind you can be able to also put their goods let me tell you if you fail or if you forget to do that the kind of conversation that will be behind you or the kind of conversation that might start you might be uh, somebody who is behind you might be someone who is not good or does not just love your kind and then it will start a very bad conversation out of such a simple thing yeah so be aware you have to put those separators <laughs> what should i call them guys you have to do that to separate your goods of which is also okay but i've found that to be a bit weird because i've never seen that back in my home so that's a bit weird for me but i'm getting used to it another weird thing that i don't know if i'll ever get used to is the fact that now we are still in the supermarket okay you are supposed to pack your own items you know we are used to at home that you after putting your goods and then they are scanned you pay for them there is always somebody there helping the cashier they help you to pack your items they load them huh, in the various boxes or papers or bags for you and then your work is just to carry your goods but let me tell you here if you're not yet in germany or in europe let me tell you you will have to carry to pack your own goods eh? ah, such kind of service of somebody packing for you that isn't so forget it before you just leave it in jomo kenyatta international airport before you come here okay <laughs> this is something that you have to get used to who is getting used to that who is still trying to adjust to that especially the time that i went um back home i went to visit my parents when i went to the supermarket i forgot that i'm in kenya so i started packing my things and they were like no 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 no. that's why we are here we are going to do that for you so i was like oh my god i'm home i'm home i'm home why not enjoy the service before i go back <laughs> <laughs> so uh if you're watching until this point i appreciate your support so so much so and so my next point is the fact that being naked ain't a big deal in germany mm -hmm. to those people who do not love wearing clothes i don't love wearing them but at home that is but outside i need to cover myself but you know there are areas where you can go like to the sauna can be hmm? in the bodysuit the way you are born <laughs> i wonder if people could i hear that people don't stare at each other people mind their own business germans mind their own business but i don't know if i will be comfortable but that that's one thing being naked ain't a big deal here okay not such a big deal especially if they're they not that you walk in the streets naked though i have seen women who do that but there are designated areas where you can actually be fully naked and enjoy yourself okay so point to note don't forget that october first does not start in october this actually shocked me i just realized this like um a few days ago where I was saying, I was actually saying, I want to attend October 1st, blah, blah, blah. And the people are like, uh -huh. it started a long time ago in Munich. So I was like, mm -hmm. I thought that October 1st is supposed to start in the beginning of October. No, I found that weird. Then why is it called October 1st in the first place if it does not start in October? So if you're like me, you're a expecting that you're going to travel during october for an october first you might be among the late ones okay so what happens is that october starts 16 days before the first su sunday in october remember this 16 days before the first sunday of october so don't be late it has already started it has already started i think so i don't know i need to count <laughs> so i hope you enjoyed the video until my next episode
episode regarding Jamali. Bye.